Hey everyone, this is Jeff Bat with Learning Dojo, and I just want to show you how to do something inside of Tumult Type. How to start, how to bring in jQuery and use jQuery inside of Tumult Type. If you're already familiar with how to use jQuery, you're more comfortable with how to um, use jQuery, you can do that inside of Tumult Type. Now, Tumult Type, you don't need to use jQuery. You can reference objects, you can do a lot of different things inside of Tumult Type. But again, if you're familiar with jQuery and you want to use that and take advantage of that inside of Tumult Type, you can do that. So first of all, you have to have Tumult Type. Um, I already have that here. I'm going to go, go ahead and start a new project. And I'm going to save this project as just sample jQuery. Go ahead and save that to my desktop. And there we go. So the next thing I need to do is I actually need to download the latest jQuery from jQuery.com. So I'm going to navigate that or navigate to that from my browser here and then click on download jQuery. And I'm going to scroll down here and you can do the compressed or the uncompressed. It's up to you. The compressed is a lighter file, so I don't really need to have it uncompressed. So I'm going to right click download file as and that's going to download that to my desktop. So there we go. We have that jQuery 3.1.1. This should work with any additional new versions of jQuery, so just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to go back into Tumult Type here, so let's pull this up. And in order to bring up jQuery inside of Tumult Type or attach jQuery or any other JavaScript library that you may be working with, you need to come into the Resources folder here, click on the plus icon down at the bottom, and then click on Add File. As soon as you do that, you can find that file on your desktop, and there it is on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and click on Open here and now that has been attached. I don't need to go into like a head document or anything like that. It's already been attached to my head document. And just by attaching it to that file, any CSS or any JavaScript, even if you wanted to create your own custom JavaScript or your own custom CSS can be applied there. All right, so let's go ahead and do a test here. I'm gonna hit save. And so we're gonna come in and we're gonna add an object that we want to talk to through jQuery. So I'm first of all gonna come down and click on add a rectangle and that rectangle in order to talk to it I either need to give it an ID or a class name and the way that you do that inside of Tumult Type is by coming over to this I icon which is the identity inspector and then coming down here and giving it either a unique element ID or a class name if you're already familiar with how to do some programming in jQuery if you talk to a class you're talking to several different objects but if you're talking to just one specific object then you'll need an ID and so that's where you would come in here and give this an ID. So I'm going to go ahead and name this square. You can name it whatever you want but you can see as soon as I select this come back into the identity inspector it has that square there. Now in order to run JavaScript inside of jQuery I can either trigger this with another button if I wanted to have a button um, or I can trigger this under the right here the scene inspector. I can come down and run some JavaScript on scene load on key down, key press, swipe left, swipe right, and so on. So there's a lot of different options there. Or I can come in and add a button. I'm going to go ahead and just add a button there. And let's say hide square. I'm going to take that, move it down over here. You can create your own custom button. You can create your own custom style. It's up to you. If you want to learn more about that, I highly recommend you check out my website at learningdojo.net. And I have a full course on how to do everything inside of Tumult Type. So I'm going to go ahead and come over to the Actions panel over on the right hand side and then I'm going to click on Mouse click here and I'm going to select the drop down box to run JavaScript. Now what JavaScript are we going to run? Well if there's a function that we've already created we can just select that from the drop down box but in this case we have not created a function so we're going to go ahead and click on New Function. Now that will pull up a new function inside of Tumult Type the first thing that I want to do is I want to give that function a name where it says untitled function. I can double click on that and I want to give this a name so it makes more sense when I'm looking through the resources and other items that I know exactly that's what that function does. So we're going to go ahead and say hide square and hit save. Now if I come over to the resources panel, I have to be back in my scene here, but you can see that hide function is now inside of my resources because this can be used by several objects, several items on the stage, and that's just basically part of my resources there. So I'm going to come back into Hide Square, and in order to do this, um, you'll notice down here has some information about how to reference like get element by ID inside of Tumult Type, but we're using jQuery. 
So we want to use just the kind of standard way of accessing or getting an item inside of jQuery. So what I'm going to do is the dollar sign, open parentheses, close parentheses, open quote, close quote, and we're going to be talking to an ID, which the, the ID is a hashtag. So I'm going to go ahead and say, well, what was the ID? Well, that was square. Now, what do we want to do? Well, we're running some jQuery code. So let's just do a simple hide, uh, open parentheses, close parentheses, that we're good to go. So we're basically just saying, okay, as soon as this button is clicked, we're going to go in and find that square, the object with an ID of square, and we're going to hide that. So let's go ahead and hit save, and then I'm going to hit command enter, which is the way that I preview inside of Tumult type. And now it will preview. There's my square. There's my button. I can go ahead and click on hide square, and you can see that it hides it. Well, I can do other stuff. I can say, let's go ahead and just fade this out. So that's another jQuery command. Hit enter, command enter, and you can see now that fades it out. So we're using jQuery to talk to these different elements inside of Tumult type. Now keep in mind that Tumult type does allow you to export to video. It also allows you to export to GIFs. But if you're using JavaScript, all of that's kind of removed because GIFs can't handle JavaScript, videos can't handle JavaScript, so it completely ignores the script. If you wanted it to have an animation or a fade out in the video or in the GIF, well, you have to do that on the timeline. You can't do that inside of the code itself. All right, now one, of my, one other thing I want to do is I also want to update the text. And so we're going to go ahead and add an element. And I'm just going to say, here's some sample text. And I'm going to give this sample text an ID. So this is going to be sample text with a capital T there. I'm going to copy that, come over to hide square. And not only are we going to fade out that square, we're going to change the text. So I'm going to access that using jQuery. So open parentheses, close parentheses, open quote, close quote. And we're going to talk to sample text. I copied that and I pasted it here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a text command. And so we're going to say sample text dot text. Well, you're going to equal this has changed. So within quotes, we're going to say this has changed. Now if I hit, we're just updating the text, the simple jQuery command that will update the text. Now if I hit um, command enter, there's my box here. There's my text, which initially says sample text. But as soon as I hit hide square, you can see that this has changed and that has gone away. So we're using jQuery, we're using the elements that we're already familiar with, if you know any type of programming, inside of Tumult type, and it really makes it powerful to be able to do what you need to do inside of Tumult type and use some of the similar programs, languages that you may already be familiar with. Now, I'm going to create a video on how to use Greensock animation, which is a great animation program inside of Tumult type. But that's at least how you get started with jQuery Mobile. If you want to check out more training on Tumult Type, highly recommend that you check out my website at learningdojo.net. Check out the courses. And if you click on the link at the end of this video, it'll take you and you'll get uh, $6 off to get the entire course with all of the different things, uh, everything you need to know in order to get started with Tumult Type.